Today is the 15th of October, 2013. This is the beginning of my simple tape of a simple overview of Jaya and the first two times of the Jaya Venice Canal Mural, dedicated first in November 1975, rededicated again March 1997. There's another history of it after that that never involved me. I do not have the rights to it. I founded Jaya in 1973. Sheila Hahn asked me if I would form a women's artist collective here in Venice and in the canals. And this I did. I also basically funded it and I funded the events that we had a lot. Although we opened a shop, I cannot find my original little journal with the original photos by the superb Rick Sinatra who took photos for us when we opened our shop. But I do have the Xeroxes of the two, of two photos there. Uh, it, the address was 181 Pier Avenue, just into Ocean Park, of course. We opened this shop uh, uh, in June, I guess, that year. And the rent was $65 a month, which was more than we could afford. However, we did our best. and. I produced the few shows that we had there. Uh, we all, I also had produced a n quite a number of other things in Venice, and th those will come forth. Our tax schedule is shown there. One of my little Christmas flyers is shown with my little Jaya uh, stationery I made. The first poster that I made, the first thing that we did, was when we opened Spring at the West Side Women's Center, which was the first women's clinic out here. The very first one that we knew of. I was a founding person, so to speak, of the Westside Women's Center. However, it was really the women's clinic at 218 uh, South Venice Boulevard. That was the first event. We went on to do many other events. I led many of the events because I had also reopened community things in the Venice Pavilion, and we did a, or a number of events there. Uh, I'll speak to those later. I want to mention the photos. There's one woman, there were many people who th decided they were part of Jaya who never were. And there's one woman always in the front, especially on the right there in, the, uh, in white in the photo and kind of hidden in this Xerox on the left. But the other women are Cindy's on top of Barbara Marfori in the pyramid and Barbara's on top of Sheila Hahn and I'm in the back with the hammer, and Aroni Primel is with the sunglasses, and Aroni and uh, the rest of us are in that window also. When we opened the shop at 183, actually, even though it's under the title of 181 Pier Avenue, Venice joined the city of Los Angeles in 1925, October, due to many political situations. Please note the uh, history tape sheet there. The second half of this will be the footage of Rod Bradley's fabulous footage when we redid the mural, the Venice Canal mural, in December 1996 and with the dedication on the 22 of March of 1997. Here are a few more poster things. Uh, the photos in the middle, uh, some of the people are not part of Jaya. But I think that's 1973 when I, I was a major, major person, organizer for the Free Venice uh, Save the Canals, Venice Canals Festival, which we started in 1969. It went through 1975. In 1976, we had the canal funeral. I did the through 73 by myself for the major part of all this, which was huge, many thousands of people, with three different stages, and of course the community house via Rick Davidson and Marge Buckley, uh, which isn't shown here, but I can show it later. Uh, at any rate, that was the corner there of uh, Linny Canal, looking toward Grand Canal, and Catania is the belly dancer. Um, the show for Andre Connors and Barbara Marfori I produced. 
uh, other things, etc. And there I am with the Venice Canal monster that I built. It was about 22 feet long with its slight curves. And I did that, I believe, in 1973 due to my loss of the original Jaya kind of journal booklet. I don't have the articles that were done on in the newspaper on it, as well as some other things, but I do have a lot of the others from long ago. I want to mention that uh, Osa Harmon was part of this group and Ar uh, Arlene Handler. Emily Winters did not join un at all until March of 1974. Produced uh, enormous labors, uh, illustrated, wrote, edited, designed and published a seashore memoir celebrating Venice, 100th anniversary, 1905 to 2005, for Venice's 100th. And in that, there are many, many, many illustrations. The one on the bottom right, there, the, the book is entirely black and white, is the drawing of the 181 to 185, I believe, of the actual addresses, Pier Avenue in Ocean Park, just north of what is now Venice, but Ocean Park in Venice used to be once one place. Um, I threw in the flyer of my slideshow from my exhibitions in 1995 and 2000 at our unlibrary on Venice Boulevard after the old wonderful building library at 610 California that I did. And I did uh, this show, I shot slides with Rod Bradley of the photographs, all black and white, by the major photographers. And the major photographers are Charles Britton, Roderick Bradley, Anthony Friedkin, Frank Talbot, and two that are dead. Well, Charles is now dead also. Um, Rick Sinatra, who died in December 2001, and Daryl Golden, who died spring 1996. So I have done that slideshow quite a number of times at Pacific Resident Theatre, and this one, of course, was from last year, was it this year? No, 2012, at the Canal Club of um, James and Daniel's Three Restaurants, James Beach, Canal Club, and Danny's Deli. These pages simply show text on Jaya and the Jaya mural, Venice Canal mural, and people that did it, which was moi, 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 moi for 19 months with Emily, and then these two pages are from, which I will show after, the original to scale design, the second design that Emily did for the mural, which was approved after much ado. I will go into details on that. The citywide mural project came to us in March of 1974, and said they ha had a grant for a women's art collective or group, and could we do a mural? And such as moi, of course, never trained in a thing, did not know how, but Emily offered to do it. Just pages from the book are discussing 440 Carroll Canal and 438 Carroll Canal, our first homes here in Venice in the mid and late 60s and into 1976. This board I put together, which is in another uh, little documentary I've made in 2012-2013 for the Venice Community Housing Corporation's 25th anniversary, which was this year, September 15th, and uh, the 20th of Jazz at Palms Court, the benefit for Venice Community Housing Corporation, JAPC for VCHC, last year. The, these are enlarged drawings from the book. All, almost all these drawings have been given away, of course. The left top one is of the community house, which was at the southeast point of the walk bridge of Howland Canal Alley over Eastern Canal. It is from the water view. The center top one is the wonderful home of Rick Davidson and 
for their 13-year marriage, his, Rick Davidson and Marge Buckley. She turned 80 last year, and footage of her is in the Venice Community Housing Corporation tape. Below that is my, is a reproduction, of course, of my drawing of Palms Court in 1999, I believe. There are a couple of flyers of my six, I believe, major benefits for the beachhead, of which I was a founding person, but I didn't found it. I didn't think of it. John Haig really thought of it, and with Rick Davidson. But I worked on it for the first 25 years and three months, in some capacity, almost every issue. Uh, and then there were 10 years, basically, when it did not come forth, and then other people decided to put it forth. It, it is non, not owned, and it is a volunteer effort, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, but Marge Buckley and Rick, David, Rick Davidson first, and Marge Buckley, made the community house happen, a condemned house that was to be torn down, and within hours, literally like three, before it was to be torn down, Rick convinced the owner suddenly to let us have it for our Save the Canals efforts, etc. It became a wonderful, wonderful center. Nancy McCulloch was also a member of Jaya from the rather start, and she found the flyer that I have a copy of still that is shown on the left there, the Lavenderish, which went into the second design for Emily's massive design work and then her massive mural work for the Venice Canals mural. This took many, many, many months of hearings, which actually I organized like mad at different sites around, including my yard, including our public parks that we built. The city tore down the first six and the had to let the sixth one happen, but that's a whole other story. Uh, they were going to tear that down, but we got it after much ado uh, declared in perpetuity. It is now a high yuppie uh, dogs, uh, commandos, uh, uh, nannies park, a little pocket park at Lenny Canal and Dell, uh, or at Carroll Canal Alley. Um, there are the two, oh, they've slipped again, the two uh, pieces from Emily's two scale the second design that she made for the uh, Venice Canals mural. And of course you can see, this won't stay, how this is quite put in here. All the people here, some of them represent a specific person, but most of them represent a combination of specific people. And uh, they represent some of our children. I'm represented, Emily's represented, Aroni's represented, Nancy's represented, uh, Sherry and Richard, Anne and Dave, Sheila, um, uh, Steve Clare, Mary Lou Johnson, uh, uh, Robert Harris, uh, and the fellow who, uh, who got off his um, bulldozer at one point when Sadie, home, Sadie Hayes home in the 200 block on the north side, the second or third house, I always forget as I'm sitting here, from the Dell Car Bridge going west-ish, um, facing Lenny Canal. She died in her own home. She had been, as I tell in my book, she had been living alone for quite some time. Her husband had been dead for many, many years. Her place was completely rat-packed, but it was hers. and. She couldn't pay her taxes, so they turned off the powers that be, all her utilities for as long as I ever knew, and she died finally one day, uh, all wrapped up in her usual way. And I found her with another canal woman, because I used to check on her a lot, and the other canal woman did a couple of times. And so we found her dead, um, and her body was removed. And but. So this canal mural shows somebody being taken away in their house, but Sadie Hayes was dead in, in her specific house, which was kind of represented in the story, as I tell in the book. We shall see if I can hold this properly. This is from an album that begins in 1975, 
and goes forward. And uh, that's my son, David, who was the skater on the oceanfront walk in 79 and 80, 81, 82, etc. Among his other endeavors and accomplishments. Here are the only photos I have of the uh, dedication day. And am I going to remember the date? I think it was the 8th of November. 1975, but it could have been the five. I've lost track for a second. Uh, Aroni has a permanent now. Emily is in the pinafore sundress. Uh, others of us are about. I, of course, have taken the pictures. And here is uh, another page of the only photos of that dedication. Yes, November 8th. And uh, Ed is with Emily, whom she was living with and lived with for many years. Uh, Aroni and Gilles, her son in a boat on the canal, myself, uh, of course, and Emily and Judy. I led the production production. I worked on the mural every day for no less than 19 months. I also worked on it with Emily basically every day in 96, 97, when we redid it, with Judy, who came in 97, also a bit later, and with Don Unziger, who lived next to the mural. In fact, you will see the side of his house here. In 1981, in March, if I remember it correctly, because I'll pull out the articles in a moment, the canal mural, that top photo shows looking towards South Venice Boulevard on Dell, going northish. Um, traffic used to be two ways. And there's some of the groups that showed up. The, um, the mural of which I had to go to court for and was taken away, although I was taken away by the powers that be here to jail a couple of times, one time specifically, quite hugely. Um, the mural in March 1981 was painted out, whitewashed by led by developers and with a hired crews. People came to clean it off with brooms and mops ASAP. I did many phone calls on it myself. And then the next wee hours, so less than 24 hours, the same bunch in their big convertible cars so that they could jump in and out, came and oil painted the whole thing with spray cans quickly, etc. So a bunch of the community came. These photos are reprints from So, although I have a bit of footage when I was cleaning just like three seconds of the clean, this second cleaning on my home movies also. Just the song that I wrote then, in honor, actually, of Arlene, Aroni, and Emily, and I sang the very first time I ever sang at the dedication for the Canal Mural, November 1975. In this same album, there is a Xerox of a photo of Arlene Handler there in front of a poster that I gave her from the G. Ray Hawkins gallery. Uh, at any rate, I wanted to have an image of her. She and I and Emily in 1976 were paid nothing, actually, for leading a, a, a well-paid then, uh, but not highly paid group of at-risk youth mural on the Venice Pavilion, the long 900 foot foot wall. I believe it was that length. That, of course, has been deleted for a long time. That entire thing was taken down. And the city of Los Angeles, which had made it rather a cement cattle ranch, had put a cement roof on it, which made it just horrible. As an open-air theater, it, it kind of could go forward. But it was uh, impossible after that, and due to many reasons, including the politics of the city of Los Angeles, etc., so we did that youth program in the summer of 1976, and we shared it. It was a gross pay of $2 an hour. We spent every penny on it, uh, on it, of course. And uh, in the original canal mural, 
the amount of money was four hundred dollars maximum. Emily spent, and it went to Emily, and um, every cent went on supplies uh, for the mural. Then, or, of course, none of us were paid. Uh, a loo, a cent, uh, um, piece, piece de d'argent, etc. Uh, and that's the way it was. So it was a volunteer effort all the way. These are from 1981, from the paint out of the... Um, uh, well, that isn't. This is from a 1985 with uh, led by women and other pe actually developers who uh, you know had me jailed etc uh, at times and also threatened my life daily and quite so with the this mural daily when we painted this we actually painted it in May started in May of 75 and went into the end of October 1975 the summer was lethally hot, lethally hot. It was just hellish. One of the reasons that Stop the Pig was kept in this mural was due to the night, to the, to the months of over a year of after we got permission, of which I, Emily, but mostly myself, Nancy McCulloch, and Aroni mostly helped with because Emily didn't, it was hard because she was the designer, so she wasn't the head of Jaya, and I took responsibility for the entire thing. But there was graffiti all over the building, and this shows one side of it, but it was graffiti around the, the market. The market was, when I first moved here, was owned by Mark and his wife, who were Turkish Catholics, who had been in, put in German concentration camps for helping their Jewish friends, and they still had their uh, concentration camp numbers on their arms. The market, when we uh, did it at this time, though, was owned by John and his family, Koreans. It was very scary. It took a long time for us to get permission to do the mural at all. Uh, he had huge fears, of which he should have had, completely, and the owner lived in Texas. And that was also true. We had to get permission for the second time in 1996 through 1997, etc. Hearings for the mural before it went forward, and it had to be approved by the city council, as well as all kinds of commissions and the cultural heritage commissions and the recreation and parks commissions, etc. were just huge. I did help hold them in our park in, at my uh, backyard. Uh, at the community house, at the at Anchorage School, at the library, the old library, etc. They were highly attended and very vociferous. Uh, the, this is an entire article here. This uh, is in the Argonaut. I think this is 1987. This one actually. This is 1976. This has uh, three columns of my letter regarding the mural from Jaya. I signed it sincerely Jaya because I represented Jaya on all accounts and uh, this is another uh, March 1981 uh, article on the rescue of the mural and uh, this is also I believe from then yes uh, th from the uh, Evening Outlook. And this, of course, is from the Argonaut here. Uh, bo both times, of course, Emily and I uh, organized the dedications in 75 and 1997. Uh, on the back of the acknowledgments, it, there's an entire paragraph of people that I got to ask and requested and kindly gave all kinds of foods and services, etc. Of course, the chair the chairs, of course, were donated by Palms Court. Uh, lots of people helped, and that, but that uh, dedication is shown in Rod's footage. There are mistakes in the program, quite a few, from Emily's um, Emily's memory, no matter our notes. Um, 
Uh, these are two articles that were done uh, near the time of the dedication, just be before the dedication in 1997, and in the what was the evening outlook, and then became the outlook. Spark, of course, uh, both times uh, had the wall blasted, major repairs, repair, uh, you know, the fillings in, and then we had to, of course, plumb line the whole thing. Emily, of course, kept full records of everything, including all the formulas for all the colors in the mural, which is why it could be redone and was redone again in 2006 to 8. Spark, which began as citywide murals first with Judith Baca, uh, Christina Schlesinger, and Donna Deitch. And it is Judith Baca's huge successful business of mural, mural pre murals, uh, and mural documentation, etc. And classes and things with UCLA now. Both times we had to have petitions as we painted uh, and talking with the people with the PR each time, which was quite incessant. Um, these, this is a guest list, two sheets in 1997, and another uh, little article in 1997, March, the day before the dedication. And so we had to have petitions because of the horrendous legalities and, of course, the threat on my life daily and jail and imprisonment on my life. So the winter of 96-97, of course we were older, was extremely cold. I was extremely dressed. And a lot of the developers who still hated me so didn't recognize me in the clothes and they would come up and start in, and then they would realize it was moi. It, so it was always a bit a tete a tete, but I always have to let these things go. In, in 2007 ish, 2006 to 8, uh, there was a huge paid, highly paid, highly granted, everybody got paid, everybody got paid, um, and paid well as far as people like moi are concerned. Uh, for the redoing of the mural once again. And that's a separate entity. I was only asked to be the bartender as usual because I actually usually very rarely ever have a drink and don't drink at such things. Uh, and of course there was a huge amount of squander and squalor of entire halls full of extra food, etc., which we had to give away, but that's the way it is. I was not part of that. I just helped it. There were pictures taken and videos taken. I have no idea where those are or anything about them. That's entirely within the rights of Emily Winters and Spark, which co-owned the rights to the mural. And people like moi have no rights. But that's the way it is. I'm glad the mural got done. Um, a lot of people changed their minds about things here that thought they had certain agendas and they have kind of dropped those agendas. They built huge fortresses here and now those fortresses are dwarfed by the modern fortresses and the huge constant pollutions of our air, sea and so to speak canal system which is supposedly to come from the sea but is now easily 50% of the runoff from their overwaterings, plus their dogs, commandos, shit, pee, diarrhea, vomit, skin, hair, fur, diseases, and the drugs their dogs are kept on that they excrete. They go into the water, so the pollutions are huge on the, via every waterway, including the canals and our Venice Beach, which includes what people call the Marina Peninsula, but it's actually Venice, and on both sides of the Grand Canal, going all the way down to the Marina Channel which was opened officially, if I remember correctly, 59, but, and the Venice Pier in 1965. And the Rod's footage will tell the 1997 kind of things that happened on the dedication day, and some shots in between with Joan Mandel, who was in the, the pictures that I showed there, 
Um, she also shot a lot of footage. She's, was, she and Rod are incredible filmmakers, and they have numerous, numerous, numerous films. And this is Joan, Emily, myself, Rod. Joan went back to Iran, her home country at one point, and everything of her entire archives was destroyed. This is a photo in February of 1997 that Rod took of Emily and her two girls, and myself and my son, David, and of course Emily and me by Stop the Pig, uh, and with Gregory Battle here, uh, who had that market as his studio and home while we did the 1996-97 redo. A few extra shots quickly. This is just after Emily painted Stop the Pig uh, in the redo in 1997. Erin Marie pointing to our house at 438 Carroll Canal, etc. And Sandy in front of us. This is moi, so to speak, by Emily. This is Emily and Marge. There are many other people represented there, including Jay the Bubble Man. And then this is at the dedication, which probably shows on Rod's footage, I should think. And of course, with Mary Lou Johnson, who died in 2000, pretty quickly later that year, the 30th of October. Uh, Don is not in these pictures. He stored the, the scaffolding for us and watched over the mural and the scaffolding for us s completely, both times, 74, 75, 96, 97. These are uh, close-ups like of the uh, kind of display board, little boards that we put on the chain link fence for the dedication in March 1997. These are two pictures I took from the apartment building across Dell at South Venice Boulevard. So it would be... Oh boy, the southeast corner of South Venice Boulevard, if I'm thinking that correctly. So it would be over the four one-way, yuppie made one-way bridges from the Washington Street area. You would go over all four bridges and, and head slowly to South Venice Boulevard. I wanted to show this also in the um, 1997 visit when David came down, there's Genevieve and Camille, um, Emily's daughters, but also Rick Davidson, who died and is was one of the raison d'etre for my documentary on Venice called The Personal is the Political in 1996. He died in 1999, the 30th of January. Well, I think this is the last shot uh, these are photos by Rick Sinatra. The left is with the Metaphaser, the other two are on Grand Canal. And the bottom right one is by Rod Bradley from Venice Canal Festivals. And I wanted to say, to make it clearer, I was the main organizer, producer, so to speak, till 1974 when Nancy McCulloch and I did it together. I had refused then to do it again because of all the horriblenesses to me by all the people who thought they knew everything, that how it should be done. Uh, it took eight months minimum of my year to produce each year. Uh, and so I left it up to the neighborhood town council. I was elected to that town council without my even running when it was first started for Pat Russell in 1973, January, March, around there. Uh, and I found it to be the usual kind of city things, but uh, I was not a member of it later. And, of course, there must have been at least 60 people with that town council later, by 1975, and it was... Um, not so great. There were some real problems. And actually, I never heard from any of those people ever again. Uh, and they never tackled it again. In 1976, we had the canal funeral. All of these little Xeroxes of 24 watercolors of the canals that I have done over years are 
being shot. Well, I do some more notes on Jaya. First of all, the name of Jaya was chosen by a vote after discussion of many names and urged by Sheila that it be called Jaya. And it seems that it was or is a word in the Sanskrit language meaning nonviolent victory. Emily attended her first meeting a year after the beginning of Jaya in March, as I recall, of 1974. And her second meeting, our second meeting that month, or the second meeting she attended, the first meeting I announced uh, Judith Baca's offer, request, inquiry, would we do a mural? And none of us had ever done such a thing. And a number of the women were well trained in art, exceedingly Emily, Aroni, and Arlene. And Emily said yes. She had been trained quite well at the Chicago Art Institute. I have now flipped these over. They are all in plastic sleeves. They are all approximately 82% of the size of the original watercolors. Jaya lasted from March, although started the organization I did in January of 1973, into later 1976, and then it, it had faded, and, and it faded. Emily worked on the des first design, which was uh, uh, deemed not proper by the public in the hearings that I held, as I mentioned, and she spent months on that, and then she spent months doing the second design to scale, which is the design that went up and has been, so to speak, up on the wall of the old market building uh, on Dell at South Venice Boulevard. Let's see. And I worked on it every day. I set up scaffolding and took down the scaffolding. I did the cleanup and set up with her. And I painted on it a minimum of three days a week total, two days of my days off of my job that I had at the time. And, and then hours in between when I would come back from work, etc., or to start the mural in the first place. Let me go back over here. But Emily kept track of everything. And let's see. Oh, one of the reasons that this could happen, um, or it seemed to be with uh, citywide murals at the time, which became Spark a year later or so, was that I had been able to set up the nonprofit of Jaya which made the grant possible from the citywide murals to us of the $400, which went to Emily, which was spent entirely on equipment. Because I had set up the nonprofit with the nonprofit that Rick Davidson and Marge Buckley had set up, had they not had that, and my access to it by asking, and they're saying yes, I don't know that the mural would have occurred. It's, it's doubtful. Here's a shot of Carol Canal. Uh, this is the 17th of October, 2013. For the last notes, I think, I was very clear when, we, uh, ha when I held the hearings for the Jaya Venice Canal mural so long in 74 and 75 that the mural was to be a public artwork a, com a community wished artwork a community approved artwork it was not to be a p private artwork at all and here we are looking at our two old cottages 438 and 440 Carroll Canal